<laughs> I hate oh, it. Oh, two weeks in a row. It's a good podcast. Is it? I feel threatened. Where's our host? Hey, I'm here! What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Inside the Pallet House, the only podcast that smells like fucking pig death. <laughs> Two weeks in a row. <laughs> and hopefully helps you figure out what beer you should be drinking next weekend. Last week, we didn't quite get there. We got close. It was a 3375, something to that effect. That's passable. It's passable, but this week, we're shooting for the moon. No, we're not. <laughs> It was the other choice that hadn't been on the podcast yet. Setting setting the bar low. <laughs> setting the bar low. Okay. Well, that's exciting stuff. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for tuning in. We realize there's been some technical difficulties with some of the podcasts as of late. I'd like to blame the producer. Oh, Stuart. But uh, unfortunately, I've been I've been the producer. Mm. And. Uh, I don't really... Uh, I've got an idea. You should withhold his pay for one week. Mine? Yeah, the producer. Okay. Does that mean don't pay the bills? <laughs> <laughs> no, don't, don't pay the producer. That's a bill. Technically, Libsyn is the producer also. That's the software I use. <laughs> so I could withhold its pay, mm. and then all the episodes go away. That's a good idea. I'm really stuck in this limbo where I got to pump out the $25 a month just to keep us on the air. Hey, side note, when the algae eater's laying on its side at the bottom of the tank, is that good? <laughs> is he laying on his side? See him in the corner? Has he found the algae wafer I threw in there <laughs> amongst all the poison? As long as eat? he's not floating, isn't that good? Maybe he's sleeping. I can might assure be, you the other might fish. might be so full he needs to take a break. Could be. Dude, he's in hell. He's in hell. <laughs> and I've been watching him suck the the fat and brains off the side of the tank thinking it's algae now i don't know what you know about algae but it's it's a it's more of a plant <laughs> mm. and he's over here just eating putrid meat and it's really done oh, he's moving it's done wonders for his coat i don't think fish have coats that one does <laughs> <laughs> oh he's a crossbreed yeah, he's quite furry <laughs> he and i have similar vascular structure <laughs> Yep. He's uh he's he's not living a good life. I'm trying very hard to save him though. Got He'll a, be fine. He got a heart of gold, brain of mush. Mm. Those two things do not go hand in hand. Belly full of mush. How much would your life change if you just didn't have an aquarium right there? A bunch. Oh yeah? Yeah. I've never known Brandon not have an aquarium. I love aquariums. Mm. And and it's for the turtle, which is also covered in filth ah poor guys it's a it's a rough scene it's a rough scene but we covered that last week yeah two weeks later it still smells the same <laughs> dude you guys are so fucking that like, smells you know, gonna be with us <laughs> that smell when i came in here honestly yesterday like it was in my nostrils to the point that Did i was almost in, puke i retched Ooh. but i didn't mm. puke oh. i did retch and then i came in and immediately started getting to work because Dirty jobs taught me you fucking keep moving. How happy was your wife? You had to deal with that shit show. Well, she didn't really. No one came out here. They all saw my face. I came in looking like a ghost. They were like, yeah, we believe you. We'll let you deal with that. Mm -hmm. I just dealt with it. I love the uh, the mild sound of crunching in the background. <laughs> we're all just crunching we're all away. Eating. We're all eating. these. <laughs> there is no better crack than peanut butter filled pretzels. So good. <laughs> Literally the best thing you can have. <laughs> so good. There was a time I would buy the, um, this one's the big jug, like the gigantor. It's like uh -huh. a, over a foot long. You know, it's the big one. But they make the little half ones. You can get it like Wegmans and yeah. stuff. I know a joke went through a stage in my life where I would sit on the couch. This was like mid COVID. And I would just put down one of those watching TV. This is after dinner, like middle, oh, yeah. middle oh, of the yeah, night, for sure. grab a couple beers because I like to swish the beer around, really loosen up that stuff in my mouth because I like to collect it in my <laughs> mouth and like swish it around, create a whole thing. Like cleanse the palate and put them yeah. back in. Yeah. And I would sit there and just eat an entire one. And then I'd be like, oh, what have you done? <laughs> it is funny. Everyone's like, 
we're not going out to eat, so we're going to lose weight. And everyone gained weight mm -hmm. over COVID. Not yeah. everybody. Some uh, people didn't. Were you on Ozempic? No. Oh. <laughs> the Peloton people. Right. They lost weight. Yeah, my wife cut weight. Yeah, I lost I weight just, during COVID. I just slowly put on weight. And most of it, I truly believe, was peanut butter filled fucking pretzel bites. And one of our one of our listeners and friends brought this over two weeks ago. And boy howdy. <laughs> like Pookie in a crack house. Yep. I am back. Can't stay away from it. I love it. Not even hungry. Not either. Won't be hungry for a week on account of <laughs> anytime hunger goes, hey, we're considering. I go, no, 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 I got you. They're the best. You get you fixed up right here. Yeah, man. There is so much ASMR going on right now. <laughs> there is. And someone's phone is tapping into a mic, causing issues. A lot going on. I don't know. Someone's getting a text or something. Hmm. Not, Who knows? not me. Not me. Well, the problem just solved itself. I think we found it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was looking at my phone and I saw a headline that said uh, Kelly Ripa announces uh, divorce statement on her show. So I had oh, to, she's leaving her so man. I had to, I had What's to his click name? On it, Mark, Mark Consuelos. Yeah, she loves Mark. She's always talking about Mark. I always thought they had a great marriage. That's all they do. So, yeah. Well, I read they go it. on and on about each other. I think it's a joke. But she was saying that she read an article that uh, gray divorce is a thing. What is gray divorce? It is a uh, new trend for couples over 50 to get divorced. Oh, like that's gray, like gray hair because you're old. Right. Oh, that's actually the that's been around forever. Right. Like, that's, yeah. that's what I, I'm like. How is that new? Maybe it's just way, a new term. Only new eight, term. Only have eight months. No, gray divorce is like the the vast. <laughs> if you don't get divorced in the first like five six years of your marriage, the odds at, at that point are very good for the next little bit. Yeah, like fifteen well, twenty the kids years. Get in college, and yeah. then as soon as the, the kids, kids go gone. away, the divorce rate there actually skyrockets. Oh yeah, to so stay together for the kids. You stay you together know. for the kids. Your whole life revolves around the kids, and then the kids go away, and you're like, well, what do we? What do you really think the chance? Of, what do you think it is? Do you think? Most people, quote unquote, stay together for the kids. Yes. Or most people, once the kids are gone, realize we never really were that tight anyway. No, I think the kids ruin you. I think the kids ruin the marriage because you had fun. You were doing all these things. Then you thought, oh, my gosh, I really want to marry this person because we are having such a good time. Like, I could spend the rest of my life. This one have... gives blowjobs all the time. Yeah. Stuff like that. And then the kids show up. And then, for, for starters, there are, there are changes that happen with a woman that are undeniable. Yes. Once they have kids. Their, their hormones fluctuate. Their taste buds change. Everything like, changes. Like, there's a lot of things. They do not like the taste of semen. <laughs> <laughs> My wife loves the taste of semen. She's always at the <laughs> naval yard. <laughs> oh, you're talking about... No, no, she hates that. Hates that. <laughs> What's the difference between semen and semen semen? Mm, I don't know. Guilt? Salt? <laughs> so, I thought wait, that was a joke you're there. Fine yeah, with, so I was waiting for the punchline. There's there. no punchline. It was a question. Uh, Brandon's what's fine it? with his wife <laughs> right. being with one of them. Is she, oh, a, okay. is she a cannibal or is she <laughs> a cannibal? Yeah, you suck a dick. You're half a cannibal. <laughs> Half a cannibal? I definitely think there's marriages where people are like, we should divorce, but let's stay together for the kids. But I also think a lot of a lot of people, once the kids are gone, are like now stuck at home by themselves looking at their partner going, what do we do? Yeah. I haven't wanted to bang this person in forever. We've just been kind of going through it. We haven't had a conversation about things we love. It's like yeah. you just realize that you're two different people. Mm -hmm. People change, man. Yeah. People change between 18 and 25. They change from 25 to 30, change from 30 to 40. But you go through all those changes and you have kids in the home and you're you're a good unit. You're taking But all care my guy friends say they still think they're the same person they were at 25. Sure they do. And they're not. And neither they're is They're definitely not. And neither is their wife. Yeah. Do they think that they're the same person or they just like feel like they could do the same things when they were 25? I think most guys say they feel like they're the same person. Really? 
Like, gonna, I know I'm a different person, but like, there's times when you go to do something, you're like, oh, I can do this. I'm going to say if a 50 year old's like, I'm going to buy a new Mustang, he's the same person he was when he was 25. <clears throat> Except he didn't buy a Mustang at 25. Hmm. What if he did buy a Mustang at 25, had to sell it for the kids, and then for the bought minivan. a Mustang after the kids go to college? Same person? There are those people who have midlife crisis. Mm -hmm. Right, and then they buy something they've never bought. I think that's like a the Miata. Def that's the def no, but I always have bought stupid <laughs> like a cars. Forerunner, but I've all those were a all done. Second Forerunner and a boat, a boat. But I'm saying I have, a, <laughs> I have a I have a history of doing. I don't know why Electric you guys all skateboard. keep fucking turning towards me. I have a history. <laughs> <Electric> skateboard. <laughs> <laughs> Beach cruiser. Oh yeah, a beach cruiser too. That's right. A motorcycle that doesn't work. <laughs> that was a gift. That was a gift. <laughs> I have always bought stupid shit. I haven't changed. That's fact. I think the midlife crisis would be when I go. I don't think I want anything else. Yeah, if Brendan goes. Stuff, if you, yeah. if you pull up to Brendan and he's gotten rid of three things, that's you'd be a like, holy crisis. shit, <laughs> he's dying. <laughs> yeah, it's quite the midlife yeah. crisis. I've up my four hundred one k contribution. Oh, God. Oh, no. yeah. oh, he's going nuts. He's, he's a different dude. Man. No, I've been a piece of shit. I got rid him. of all my wine of the month clubs. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Never doing it. I'm getting rid of one, though. I really am. Okay. Oh, I just need Brandon's to find dick it. doesn't work. I need to find <laughs> that would be a good sign. That would be a good sign. A little, little midlife crisis for sure. Oh, that would be. Oh. There, there's medicine for that, <laughs> and I will go all in. You'd be like, you got a bloody nose. You'd be like, yeah, but I'm so hard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just been snorting Viagra. You got blue shit on your nose. Yeah. Get totally worth it. Snorting yeah. Viagra. Yeah, there's blue spoons sitting around. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> like, uh, I mean, fucking nightmare track marks and hard-ons. <laughs> so she was joking about her divorce. Apparently. That seems weird. But she read an article that said gray divorce is on the rise, and I'm like, is it really on the rise? It, yeah. it is. It or absolutely has it always existed. Yeah, that's I feel what I was like saying. I think it's always been there. Just I feel like name. all divorce, and I'm, I'm not. I have no statistics, but I feel like our parents were the divorce generation. I feel like people our age, like all my friends that didn't get married in their twenties, in their like early twenties, they're all still married to their first wives. Like, if, they, and they're coming up on twenty years, if not longer. We're like a lot of people I know that have been married a second time. They're coming up on you know fifteen years because they're not, first married. You're not fifty. That great divorce is over fifty. Yeah. It's, it's coming when the kids go out. We're going to see a spike in. in but I still think there's. I think there's less divorce than. Well, certainly our, less than the two year marriage. There's if anyone who gets married before twenty one, the odds of getting a divorce are astronomical. Statistically. Statistically. And then when you get to a certain point where you're like you're entering towards retirement, the divorce rate skyrockets again. Yeah. That's factual. Yeah. I mean, Because you're getting ready to move to the village. Skyrockets? Skyrockets. Like the same level as a pre-21-year-old getting married? Look up the numbers. I, I'm, You've got a I phone. would be shocked if that. Yeah, you're getting ready to move to the villages and get all that's that. That's what I'm saying. 80-year-old No, poon. you swing. you got to yeah. have some capital to trade, to barter with the other fellas. <laughs> oh, so you, you want your wife then? Yes. Uh, you guys are new to this or something. I can't. <laughs> I could never be the guy who knows that his wife's out bad. I, could, I couldn't. Yeah, I couldn't. I'm definitely not that guy. But if I, you were ready to leave her and you're like, well, she's got some value. Trade value, <laughs> some trade some bait, fucking shiny, <laughs> shiny rocks or something. And she's got to look at you in the same way. Then you guys have to both mutually decide that you're just trade bait. I'm Imagine just, yeah. that conversation. Yeah. Yeah. You <laughs> don't have the conversation. You just do it. I don't think it works that way. That's not how it. You're, you are fucked. Great <laughs> divorce is coming your way. You are fucking. You know how up. we're both tired of fucking each other. Well, I have a fix. There's zero chance I'm going to go for the divorce, but there's a high likelihood that I'm the least attractive part of our equation. I agree with that. Yeah, yeah I think everyone agrees with that. Yeah. Like, Hold on, dude. Hold on tight, because yeah, you could trade for some quality stuff. 
just going to be traded. <laughs> You're going to be getting traded for Twinkies. Right. <laughs> it's not a good Especially deal. Especially once the Quaalude supply runs out. Yeah. They don't even make those anymore. Dude's, yeah. Dude's going to be like, I got a half-drank bottle of bourbon. I'd take yeah. you for your wife. And you'd be like, an indecent proposal is still a proposal. <laughs> no, it's the opposite. The, yeah. jo- the you- joke is some dude goes up to Joy and is like, Got a half bottle of bourbon for your husband. She's yeah. like, fuck yeah. <laughs> Make that happen. She's like, I love him so much, I'll do it. <laughs> Not even top shelf. That's right. Oh, no. It was Beam at best. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure it said Bowman. <laughs> <laughs> James Bowman, not Jim Beam. <laughs> yeah. Bowman's actually trying to come around. Have you noticed this? They're yeah. out of Fredericksburg. Yeah, they're they're really trying to like promote these like high end bourbons. We actually had them when we did the bourbon off. They have lines, they have like special releases and they get lines wrapped around the building. Yeah. They're really trying to come up because there was a long time there where Bowman was just like what you got when you didn't have money, but a desire to be drunk. Right. Thought that was Virginia gentleman. Still is. That's up there too. <laughs> there are many of those. Yeah. I was a Sir Francis Drake rum guy. Ooh. Mm. Sir Francis Drake had a cool like compass on it. It looked very nautical. How much cheaper was it than Captain Morgan? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's Brendan's financial uh Right. <laughs> I'm saving a dollar. <laughs> right. No, it was like a half a gallon for like fifteen bucks. All Again, right. and a half a gallon of Catherine Morgan's was 18 bucks. No, Sir Francis Drake was considerably... It was bad. Hmm. It was bad. But I it very, uh, got a soft spot for it. Hmm. And that soft spot is probably turning into cirrhosis. <laughs> <laughs> a, hard a hard spot. spot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, soft spot's getting harder by the day. Is scarring? No. Not Sir Francis Drake. So I, I'm, I'm curious about this. So what period of your life was that rum phase? Oh, rum was my my go to in college. I really, really liked spiced rums and then just rums in general. But seriously, like a half gallon of Captain Morgan's, which all the girls would have been like, "This is the best." Was three dollars more? I don't think the girls cared. Girls loved a Captain and Coke. Well, what is the price points on a Sir Francis Drake these days versus Captain Morgan's? I bet you it's still probably. Yeah, but when you're poor in college. Three dollars is still three dollars. Right. Well, and also the girls, you're giving them a cup yeah. with that drink in it. They did. They did. But the difference. but three dollars would be the difference between a, a handle of Jim Beam and a, a handle of Old Cock or whatever. Mm. Old Crow. Speaking mm. of great divorces, whatever, yeah. whatever those horrible bourbons were, and pretty much everyone just went for the Jim Beam, right? Dude, I would easily. Forego quality to fighting save a dollar. cock. Fighting cock. Old cock is for Dave's whore capital. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my part mistake. of the great divorce. Yes. What was the name of the spice rum you got, Brendan? Sir, Sir Francis. Francis. Sir Francis Drake. Drake still currently sells for a one point seven five for fourteen ninety nine. Oh, huge. Right. Like thirty. That's 20 a, to yeah. thirty. So that's a big don't you yeah. fucking yeah. question yeah. my <laughs> yeah like shit. Uh, yeah. Morgan's is probably like twenty eight dollars. So yeah, it's probably it's half, half the, price. the price. I submit overruled. Yes, this was yeah. yeah. Objection! All the lawyers granted, granted. (laughs) sustained. (laughs) The lawyer got lawyered. Yeah, that stuff is bad, (laughs) and I would drink it all the all the time. There were days I would wake up, have a shot, like in college. It was. I had this little ritual. I thought this was so cool because I was. That sounds like you. I was of the grunge era. (laughs) Yeah, you know. I was. I would put on Pearl Jam. Literally, and then. I would masturbate. Let's go no, there. No, no. Oh, no. come on. No. Once. No. I would listen to... I'm sure I did. Let's all go there together. <laughs> I would listen to Indifference. Oh, that's what I was singing. <laughs> <laughs> Not. And it would start by saying, I light the match this morning. And I would light a cigarette. Oh. 
And then I would wait till the Did line. Did you literally hit play, wait till it got to those words? Absolutely. Holding the lighter. I like, did. And three, what two, a one. No, this total guy. Total <laughs> this all, this all checks out, though. I mean, but God, you know what's dude. funny? Is is I was, any of it shocking I'm glad I did not know you in college. I would have hated you. I was doing it for no one but myself, though. That's the weird thing. But you thought you were so deep. So deep. So deep. So deep. No, no, I still think I'm super deep. Only in this context do I realize maybe I wasn't. <laughs> Only now. <laughs> but my ego jumps back in and goes, these losers don't know shit. Yeah. No, it was, I like so the match would, this morning, so yeah. I won't be alone. Light a cigarette. The song will continue. And then there was a point where it's like, I'll swallow poison until I grow immune. I do a shot at Sir Francis Drake, finish my cigarette up, crush it, go to class. And I thought, how cool is this guy? I realize oh, now. My, I'm getting douche chills. I know. Now, you this is awkward. This is like, argh. You should. And that was a very sad way to start the day. And I look at my, I remember myself at that age living in a shitty fraternity house. Like, and I can go back there and I could think, I never in a million years would do well, that. that. I was trying to think, so too. Weird. I didn't have anything like that. Did you have anything like you did? No. That, like, the closest thing, I mean, absolutely nothing like that. But I was just thinking in my head, in our fraternity, we didn't have houses. We had halls and dorms. And we had a big chapter room, but we had a drink machine where we were in charge of putting the drinks in and we got the money for it to pay for beer. Yeah. Well, we had like the normal drinks all there. But at the bottom, we created our own slot that said, get what you get, bitch. Yeah. And we put like really nasty stuff in there and then there'd be some beers in there. Yeah. So the best part of the morning was when somebody went out there to go get it and that was the only slot that had anything left. And you got beer. And you got the beer like, at 7.30 in the morning before your 8 o'clock class you heard the person screaming up and down the hallway. <laughs> <That's> like, <laughs> good? Like oh, you no. Were, oh, no. yeah. You at were 7.30 mad? in the morning, you don't want a beer yeah. you're oh, going see to see me, I'd be like, perfect. Pearl yeah. jam? No. <laughs> Light a cigarette? I definitely like, I definitely did the like, we're staying up all night, we're drinking. Yes, of course. The, the party's over but there's four of us and we're smoking cigarettes and we're we're listening to Oasis and we're getting deep and we're solving the world's problems. But I definitely never did the light a match when the song says right. light a match. No. Drink oh. a shot when the song says drink a shot. It's like Pavlov's dog. Yeah. I couldn't no. couldn't not do this. Brennan yeah. would carry a spoon in his pocket when Soundgarden came yeah. on. Like, Fuck man. yeah, I'm the spoon man. I fucking hated Soundgarden. <laughs> oh, because you can understand the lyrics. <laughs> yeah. I get it. That, hey, stick to your guns. Stick just, to your guns. I didn't didn't like them. Yeah. Know. Speaking of Oasis, mumble. did you see that Saturday Night Live sketch? I did not. So it was weekend update, and they had uh, apparently Oasis is yeah, reuniting. Yeah, yes, the, the hottest ticket. Like now that Taylor Swift is like ending her tour, hmm. she got Miami this weekend, or I guess it would have been the past but weekend when this Taylor Swift happened. has released hit after hit for the last ten years, and Oasis released hit they, thirty years ago. They hit, they, they hit had two hits, two, two or three two albums, but they're thirty years ago. But the funny part about that sketch was like these guys are now in their fifties. Oh yeah, and they're like quarreling, and so they're like, "What could, what could brothers quarrel about?" And it's like video games, and he's touching me, and he's sticking <laughs> his tongue out, and it really makes you think, like, yeah, like why are these millionaire morons still quarreling? Still quarreling. That's like every. That's the story of every band. Well, Look at how many bands. About one thing, money. Perry Farrell. Yeah, yeah fought Dave Navarro. He just yeah, but they're not brothers. In- no, but, but bro, close you're enough. more likely to fight your brother over but they've no, been something quarreling stupid. For Thirty years. Yeah, they're well, they're brothers. Ugh. Rock, look, rock bands in fight, brothers in fight. So you have a rock band that has brothers in it. That sounds like the worst. Like, and I'm with you. Logically, it makes no sense. Every time you fight, you are throwing buckets of money out the window. Right. Like, how dumb are you? And if they released a song today, unlike Taylor Swift. It's going to fucking suck. They're gonna I don't try know about to, that. They're going to try to recapture the lightning in a bottle they, they always had do. Every from time 1995. Every time does that, it breaks. Not mind. Pearl Jam. No, they're still good. Yeah, they're still solid. <laughs> yeah. Still just crushing great hits. I don't know why you get this tone. I mean, look at Nirvana. I'm saying they how great they are. They haven't released anything in 30 years. Who? Yeah. Nirvana. <laughs> no, Nirvana Awful. has really fallen apart. <laughs> Not right? boring either. Alice right. in Chains, Stone Temple Pilots, none yes. of them are putting shit out. But Garbage. Lim- but somehow, um, what's the fucking band? Uh, Linkin Park just did put out a whole new album. And they're out touring. And no one's happy. Speaking of, did you hear that 
going back to Nirvana, and I think we talked about him, the uh, Foo Fighters guy, Dave, Dave Grohl. Grohl, they've like canceled indefinitely their tour. Because oh, of the whole drama. Because he has yeah, to raise really? a baby. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, he really didn't lean into the rock star side of that. He was like, I yeah. fucked up, and they stopped everything. Yeah. And Tenacious D, because the one dude... Uh, not 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 Jack Black. Jack Black, Kyle Kyle, Gass. Kyle Gass. Gass. He had made a comment right after the Trump assassination attempt. Yeah, and Jack Black, being the probably the most liberal son of a bitch in yeah. the world, was so upset that Glass was like, "Next time, don't miss or something." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he shut down the show right then and yeah. there, and he was like, "The band's broken up." And canceled everything. Yeah. That dude, Kyle Glass, is like, oh, shit. Because <laughs> Jack that guy Black's have, fine. Like, yeah. 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 Jack, Jack Black's, Black's just fine. fine. Kyle Glass gets tenacious D royalties. Yeah. And put, in mo- and put in movies that Jack Black yeah. wants him in. Exactly. Yeah, he just lost everything yeah. by making a stupid joke that he thought for sure would land. Jack Black <laughs> would have been like, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Jack Black was like, no, 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 that's not cool. I just can't believe that the Foo Fighters are taking it on the chin because of well, they Dave just lost Roll their doing... drummer, uh, who was integral to Dave's uh, psyche. Yeah, that's yeah, he, he he died. Yeah, so I'm. You could see where he's like, I've got whatever a quarter billion dollars in the bank. Maybe I should lay off, hang and it up, raise this kid. Yeah, raise this plural, new kid. Plural. Wait, yeah, he has so, another one. Oh, new? There's multiple. Another well, new one. No, I'm saying he's obviously got too many kids. That's the yeah. part of the problem right. here. Yeah, he had the kids from. The wife and then the kid from the side chick. His wife is like, do you do anything weird on the road? He's like, no. 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 I mean, I for know. a rock star, that's not weird. No. Well, yeah. On, when point. all your bandmates keep killing themselves, <laughs> yeah, you're probably doing something weird. He's like, I could have a crazy Are you banging addiction? 19-year-olds on the road? Look, no, I'm Dave Grohl. Look at yeah. me. Oh, they're 20. They're 30. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, they're 19. <laughs> oh, the, the chick was 19. Yeah. The kid, oh, I didn't no, know seriously. I didn't hear that part. It's not good. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> no, it's great for him. It's not good for the PR. Well, it turns out it's not great for him. I would assume... <laughs> it was great for him. I would assume if you're the wife or a significant other, because you got to think the women are doing it too, but like, if you're... If your rock star husband or significant other isn't like trying to figure out a way to get you on the bus to travel with them, like something bad's going to happen, right? Yeah, 100%. I mean, you can't be gone for that much time without something bad happening. Maybe not if you're Wayne Newton. I could. I'd just be sitting in my bus smoking cigarettes and taking shots with Sir Francis Drake. <laughs> Masturbating. Masturbating. Yeah, I'm not going to show anyone this cock that is <laughs> full of sores. I've got <laughs> awkward porn. Yeah. No lotion. <laughs> oh. Pay for this tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, the bad thing is, like, let's say you're an honorable dude. You're back at the bus. And then your bandmates show up because they're single and they're fun. And they got a dozen girls with them. Mm-hmm. And you're, like, trying to behave. You're trying. It's got to be difficult. Yeah. yeah. And you just came from a ditty party. <laughs> 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 that's where that's where you go Whatever it'll, it'll never come out yeah it'll never come out you're safe go to a diddy party that dude I, we've talked about it yeah. enough we don't yeah. have to cover yeah. it but what a piece of shit but oh, i think that's the gift that'll keep on giving yeah. so what are the food fighters gonna do the remaining what two guess they're rich enough they, royalties yeah they're okay yeah. they're okay they've been there since the 90s and they were in a popular band before then what band was that I think one of them was in Sunny Day Real Estate. Oh, Dobby. Everyone loves Sunny Day Real yeah. Estate. Got yeah. a tattoo on my ass. <laughs> I can't remember the other guy. But regardless, just since 1996 or whatever, yeah. they probably have multiple tens of millions. But they got to keep, they got to still need the money. They're not just torn for the No, fans. they love that shit. Obviously, it's they like, like Brendan having a Miata. They, they like performing music for sure. But the grind of the road has got to get old at some point. It's got to be. It's they be love terrible. that. And if you if you make that kind of money, that means you're spending that kind of money. Well, you're that's lo- the you're thing. Lifestyle at, creeps real. Yeah, you're looking at things logically. <clears throat> you're looking but if what, I handed you the $200 million. Yes. But whenever you hear those those uh, band members, they're like, there is no, no high like being on the stage in front of 
fifty thousand people and they're all cheering yeah. your name. It's got to be pretty. Yeah, yeah, but that that two hours every other night is awesome. But the grind of the rest. But of they it, do it. They do it for. It's a, like football. They do it for several months every three years, and that's their job. How fucked up is heroin? Once they're big enough to do that. Yeah. That, well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. These guys yeah. are big enough. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like heroin. It's got to be such a fucked up high. When the greatest high in the world is standing in front of 100,000 people and having them cheer your name, and you're like, I think I'm going to blow it off and lay on this couch. No, see, that's the problem, they right? They try to chase it. Yeah. yeah exactly. So you think when, it's an adrenaline? Well, uh, well know, when guys. that's your every day, when you've been doing that for 10 years, that excitement that goes becomes away. the norm. So then it's like... It becomes a job. Yeah, and it's work. So Actually, then, you look at... The, the podcast is a bad example, but it's a good example. Yeah. The first... Like three times you do a podcast, you're yeah. like, holy shit, man, that was the best night of my yeah. life. You get this high just from recording it. And then you're like, that was amazing. And you're, then you're, after it was a longer while, than three episodes. I mean, that high lasted a while. Remember that first time? Yeah. You're chasing oh, yeah. that dragon forever. Yeah. For me, it was yeah. at least six. Yeah. Before yeah. it sharp tailspin down. Sharp, sharp tailspin. Just, <laughs> yeah. It, it, it comes down fast. <laughs> oh, it's a job. It's a job. And it pays dick sticks. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking rough. But like, so then after touring for 10 years and going through the grind of that, you're like, this is, I'm numb. Let's let's do heroin. Look at Dave chasing his high over. Yeah. That right dude on. can't stop eating okay. fucking pretzel right Back there. kids. <laughs> <laughs> They're so good. You put it right in his arms. Right yeah. Right, like right in the perfect space. <laughs> We love listening to get high. <laughs> Dude, I like that. I like that flannel. Yeah, it looks good. So, Carhartt. Carhartt. My, so, wife, my wife bought it uh, surprisingly. Trying like, to, that was a good purchase. Trying to man, man you up. Mm-hmm. So I bought, I bought a very similar flannel, and I got it at Devil's Backbone last year, but I wanted it in a large, not an extra large. But they only had the extra large, and our buddy, the White Knight, was like, nah, dude, you love that flannel. You should have it. And he bought it for me. And since then, it's become my favorite flannel, but it's baggy. Yeah. Like, it's big. just it's Yeah, just you're baggy. not as big as... You should eat some of these. Yeah, fill it out. Well, I could, or I could get it fitted or like something. I don't know. SMR, you're working in. <laughs> but so, right. I bought this flannel, and for the last year... I'm done with been... this can. <laughs> <laughs> but it has been, like, my absolute favorite flannel. Like, love this thing. I just yeah. wish it was a little bit smaller. So, I'm at one of the wineries this past week. Exact brand exact flannel but with their logo instead of the devil's backbone brewing company Uh-oh. and my wife is like you joined a club she's like you i did join that club <laughs> i'm a member <laughs> but my wife is like you are not buying another flannel <laughs> and i'm like okay well these hats are dope she was like you have 72 hats and that was the last time we counted and i'm sure you've brought home hats since then and i'm like yeah i get that that's a bit of an addiction too so i went to the bathroom <laughs> And apparently my wife had this long conversation oh. with the guys in there. It was like, look, this asshole has 72 hats. And they were like, 72 hats? That's an exorbitant amount of hats. I would honestly be embarrassed to say that number out loud. Okay. You mean your number? No, 72. Oh, 72. $1,400 oh, $1, in like, hats. You need to fucking get your game up, dude. Those are rookie numbers. <laughs> that was going to say, I was like, wait, I know that Troy's got a lot of fucking. <laughs> Troy's got a lot Fuck of yeah, dude. <laughs> Thought, that makes me so happy I to hear. Higher of, of you, but now lost a little street cred. Only having seventy two. I've lost some hats yeah, over the years. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't include toques. We'll talk all fair. Doesn't include toques, cowboy hats, mm. or fedoras. Okay, well, you're kind of working backwards there at the end. <laughs> and menorahs. <laughs> ah, now you're back. Hell yeah! <laughs> Got it. So, she like has this conversation. She's like, "You can't let this asshole buy this shit." And then she leaves. Like she's like, I'm gonna go get in the car. You close out the tab. Like we gotta go. Oh. So I'm like, is she new at this? No, I, I think she wanted to see how this would go. Uh, <laughs> you know? Oh. So I say to the guys, I go, Bait in the hook. I go, I tell you, you got some good looking hats here, and they were like, you really don't need another hat. <laughs> like we've we've talked to your wife, and I'm like, oh. and I was like, I, that's my favorite flannel over there. And I was like, if you got it in large, and the guy's like, that one? I'm like, yeah. And he's like, I mean, I guess if you want to go look at him, he's like, we won't tell. But like, let's put it in the bottom of the bag under the wine so that you don't get busted. And I'm like, yeah. And I go over there, and I look. Sure enough, they have a large. What's, it, what's this flannel cost? 
I don't know. <laughs> okay. I was at that point of the day. You really. want to do Google I mean, math right like, now? Aren't you at that point of the day when you wake up? Some no no I'm <laughs> I'm, I'm way more cost conscious sober. <laughs> way more cost. Well, conscious. like what would you guess? Eighty bucks. Forty. Oh, oh, 40 okay. bucks? That's not bad. Yeah. yeah. Dude, Carhartt's 50. That's a steal. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah no, no. They're about $40. There's What's so that? many. I, this story, keep going. I, mean, I, want, I, I want to break it down. A lot of I holes have like, in there. No, there's no holes. It's all true. I just have like offshoots. I have like questions of so many things that have happened so far in the story. I just, I'm very confused. My head hurts. Would you like to ask the question? No, go ahead with your story. Then I'll break. Then I'll, then I'll come at you with the question. I love it. Cross exam. So, so the yeah. guy says to me. Dave's getting excited. I pick it up and I go, oh, sweet. One large left. And I take it off and the guy says to me, have you tried that on? And I said, nope. I know the brand. I know I want a large. And he goes, okay. Oh. And I'm like, okay is right. You didn't think to question that? No, because damn right, motherfucker. Okay. That's what's up. Is it Carhartt? No, it's Burnside. Mm. Oh, yeah. Good, good, good brand. But they, uh, <laughs> they must size differently than Carhartt. So I get the shirt, and he's like, want me to hide it in the bag? And I said, I'm a man. Don't hide it in the bag. I'm carrying it out. <laughs> so we so hid it in the bag, and then so what happened? Yeah. So I walk out, and my so wife. I shoved it in my pants. <laughs> I, I take it, and I put it, and I just put it down. And I'm like, try to talk to the guys, huh? She's like, I did. She's like, I can't believe they sold you a fucking shirt. And I'm like, yeah, they did. Can she? Because I'm the one. Like, I'm the guy. <laughs> I'm all proud of myself. And I, I mean, the salesmen are going to do salesman shit, right? Like, so we drive back to the house or the uh, the hotel. The salesman should have been like, she said you couldn't get a hat. You should get three. Yeah. yeah. Is it like a kid's large? <laughs> so, so I go to put it on and I'm like, I was like, you know what? I'm changing into something more comfortable. I'm going to wear this out tonight. And I grab it and I'm like, the buttons are on the wrong fucking side. Oh, <laughs> that was a woman's no. shirt, wasn't it? And I'm like, oh no. You bought a woman's oh, shirt. Oh, please don't. <laughs> and I put it on and I'm like, oh no. And then I go, and the arms are like like, like four inches above my wrist. You I'm couldn't like, tell by looking at it? Uh no. It's hard to tell. Uh, in in Brennan's defense. It it was it was hard to tell it's just all on the tapered. You just look at the buttons and see. It's he the just looked thing. at the pattern and yeah. the size and said, I'm in. And she even said, she goes, you have that exact same shirt. I go, it's a different logo and I'm getting a different size. This was an argument we had well, now prior. Now she's wrong because you don't have that exact same <laughs> no, shirt. No, no, she does though. <laughs> she was way off. Oh, now y'all can twin. Ooh. No, so she goes, this is the best day ever. They fucking hooked it up. And I'm like, no, they didn't hook it up. And she's like, what exactly did they say? And I'm like, they said, you can't have a hat. And then I argued with him a little. And then I said, I'm going to have this shirt. And then they asked me if I tried on that shirt. And then they acquiesced and said, you know what? Sure. You can have that shirt. She's like, they hooked me up. She's like, now we can twin anytime we're by the fire. And I was like, motherfucker. <laughs> That's not a bad thing. It's not cool. I don't know. I'm kind of with your wife on that. Oh, no. She won. She was so proud. She wore it out that night. She I mean, if your, wife all really, all right. if your wife really constructed that I don't know plan, if she did. I she think, did not. She I think not. she stumbled into that, and they were like, you know what? And this then, could be funny. And then if your wife stumbled into that and then took full ownership of it? She took full ownership. That's, now she's telling the story. That's like, pretty badass. She's like, I good. coordinated this brilliant ploy. Yeah. Right. Here's where I'm confused. Yes, this, no, here comes with, the cross interrogation. Story. Objection! Hearsay! <laughs> I believe 100% of what you said, so I'm not... But I'm confused by... But isn't his, it true that... Go ahead. But I'm confused. Why would, why would your wife feel the need to speak for you on making a purchase when you guys have flown all the way across the country and are literally spending hundreds of dollars a day on literally... Bullshit, food and wine. I I I, I don't understand totally why I totally hear your argument. I don't understand like to me that's just mean spirited. Like what that's unnecessary. Oh. Like okay. st still on her side. Two <laughs> why like I don't understand the whole like I'm gonna go sit in the car, you figure this shit out. I don't understand that angle. Like, I didn't understand that move at all. What like unless that was her plan. Are we not a team like can't you just stand here while I pay and we walk out together because we're doing this romantic wine thing together but okay just go sit in the car while I fucking well I think in her defense the way the bathroom was set up you had to go outside of the tasting room 
and all the way down towards the parking lot, like outside, and it was raining. So she had to walk through the rain to the bathroom, I and then the car was, was right there. I briefly thought she was telling you not to buy something, and then when you went to the bathroom, she was going to make a purchase for you and gift it I to you. I thought the same thing. But then, oh my I, gosh, but, I wish before that. Not- my before that thought finished running through my mind, I was you like, That's, who yeah, she was. yeah. <laughs> but I'm just like, y'all literally, like, the joke is you guys spend money on some silly stuff. Yes. You like to have experiences and do fun stuff. And that's you guys. I spend all my money that, on experiences. That's I what you that. guys love to do. I love that. Yeah. So a $400 shirt, yeah. What's the point? But when you guys are doing this trip, like if you wanted a shirt from the place, who like it's that's just a weird angle to take. It's very weird. I, I agree with you. And okay. I we had this argument for a while until I noticed the buttons on the left side. Yeah. And then I realized But boy. then and then that's weird too, that now that it's not for you and it's for her, then there's no problem with that purchase. No, now it's adorable. Yeah. Now we're twinning. That, I heard that word a lot. That's it's just weird. It's all weird to me. Uh, Troy, I'm going to let you a little secret. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever heard of a gray divorce? <laughs> no, it's, it's along those lines. It's along those lines. Troy, you would never survive my marriage. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're right. Like, I, actually, yes. A hundred percent. You would never survive my marriage. Well, yeah. I, think if you I don't bought, even think you would have survived dating. If you bought oh, a yeah, Miata right. and a Cope, I think you'd be all right. Bought her a Miata to come. No, no. If Troy had to buy himself a Miata and a couple Forerunners, I'd love to see Troy in the Miata. And a couple. Troy's been in the Miata. Yeah, I don't think I've seen that yet. We, my father-in-law had a Miata, <laughs> and Brent and I went out driving them together one day, and wow. that was quite fun. Hey, Troy and I have been on dates. Yeah, Miata right. dates. There's only one kind of date. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm going on a date with another man, it involves Miatas. You guys should have gone to uh, uh, Pliny the Elder's. Uh, <laughs> Brewery. You don't get to ride for free in that Miata. I can tell you that from experience. <laughs> ass or grass, no one rides for free. <laughs> gas, ass or grass. Yep. There. <laughs> no one rides for free. <laughs> Speaking of, can I have a beer? So, yeah. I was going to ask. <laughs> but I guess your wife... I do want to see y'all wear this, this shirt together. Yeah, yeah be mine's going to have a brewery. Hers is going to have a winery. It's actually totes adorbs. Yeah. Mm. But it is heartbreaking, and it's the basically a very similar color that. pattern. Do, do they literally match each other? Oh, I saw same exact pattern. The bur- same exact pattern. Mm. I was like, oh my gosh, it is the exact shirt that I've wanted to get one size down because it's the most comfortable, and I think it's the coolest looking flannel. You should get two more for your daughters and do your Christmas cards. Oh, that's I not a bad. Actually, idea. don't hate that yeah, idea. That's a pretty good one. It's better than pajamas that you're never going to wear. Yeah, and these flannels are super cool. Oh, man. I don't... Where am I going to find Burnside with different logos? Burnside.com. Oh, that's a good good place to start. <laughs> <laughs> Did you work for them or something? How would you know that? That is a really good place to start. You mean their website? Well, I guess. Yeah, sure. <laughs> See, in my mind, you can't find them without traveling all over to random places. <laughs> That's the only way to get them. They don't exist anywhere else. What all do right. we have here? The Degrees know. Czech Pilsner. It's another interesting label. What's Vi- 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 Vibrissa? What's Vibrissa? 4.5 ABV. I'm trying to look it up right now. I bought them because they had little penises on the... Oh, no, those the are thermometers upside what? down and, and thermometers. Oh, it's Brewed and canned by Vibrisa Beer, Winchester, Virginia. Ooh. Oh, okay. Ooh, fun Drink them fun fresh, chest. leave no trace. There's not a. There's no descriptors on here. I respect that. Yeah. I'm going to get... Well, check Pilsner. It's pretty good. Yeah, but it doesn't have like the cutesy... Uh, yeah. In this can, well, you'll have hints of oriander with uh, blah, 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 blah. Wow, that SMR trend. It's not on their website. The beer, the whole beer's not? No, they got a bunch of different beers. <laughs> They're like, shit, don't bring this one up. <laughs> it's interesting. Best by 2016. <laughs> <laughs> and they always say it, Vabriza, check to see if it's a woman's fit. <laughs> that's a good pour for you, Troy. Sorry about that. That's like I like that uh, they did try to warn you. 
I mean, they said, did you try that on? You sure it fits? And confident me. <laughs> Bitch. You, you know, like 20 years from now, that bar back is going to be like, this one time I sold this out of town dude a woman's shirt. I was like, did you try that on? He's like, don't so worry did, about did, it, buddy. Did they not have the men's version? You don't know. There was the only large in the house. And I had gotten through all of them, and I was like, this is the last one. If it's not a large, I'm humped. And I pulled it out, and I was like, holy shnikes, I've done it again. And I was like, I did it. I was so happy. That's... Yeah, I guess <laughs> that was their, like, out. They were like, oh my God. give it a try. Try it on. If you're not going to try it on, then... Oh. Don't say we didn't warn you. They'd already sold me a membership. I just saw Brandon's face as he took a sip of this beer. Well, it does a lot of things. Mm. Czech Pilsner can be awful. And it's, can be so light and crisp. In fact, the second, second sip's way lighter and crisper. That first sip is a left hook. Punch in the face. Yeah. It's like yeah. a fucking pig head yeah. in an aquarium. What is that flavor? We've no. all heard that before. <laughs> You know, it's funny. Is I had never actually heard that expression, and now I fully now, get it. Yeah, now, I fully now get, you it. get it. Yeah, I was I was out in California, and someone goes, "Man, that's like a big head in an aquarium." And I go, what, "What does that mean?" And they were like, "You know, a bad decision that could ruin the lives of many fish and ruin a whole bar." And I was like, "What? That's a thing people say." Then I came home. Brendan's like, "That's oddly specific." It's oddly specific. What's crazy is look how much. That filter should have cleaned out everything. I was going to say now. that filter has not done anything, has it? No, that you couldn't see into that tank at all. That filter does like in one hour should should clean that tank twice, right? Hundred percent. And that's you got to think that's ninety five percent fresh water. So is that better? That is not fresh. You're telling me that's better, dude? I couldn't see into the tank, but it, I couldn't see an inch into the tank. An hour ago, it looked the same, right? No, it's we're having a very hard time getting through the fat and brains that is in that. <laughs> I can't fat. wait to listen to last week's episode. So is, is to that hear about this. is that just uh, rushing up all the stuff that was caught in the rocks? Is that why it's cloud? Because you poured like five five gallon uh, buckets of clear water in there. I and, probably and it instantly turned to cloudy. I probably put 45 gallons of fresh water in a 55-gallon tank today. Right, but it's so, so, cloudy. It so cloudy. So Because it's, it's full of meat chunks. Like down in the rocks. Should you have like... Everywhere. The should whole you have thing like, soured. And I took out everything that was in the tank. Should you have turned it on its side and just blasted it with a hose for 10 minutes and then put clean water in there? Yeah. Yeah, but I was here to save the fish. Did you rinse okay. the rocks? No. Oh, okay. that's yeah, what's that's, coming off. It's that, just okay. literally what was left. That makes sense. Then. In the rocks, it's yeah. fucking awful. Ugh. Now I wasn't here for last week's episode. Did we talk about Dave's hiatus from the show? No, we did not. Like how? Because you had anniversary and then COVID, right? Yeah. So how was your mm. three weeks? Which off? one was more fun? Ooh, <laughs> that's an interesting question. Poorly, poorly timed on my part. Which one? So much sex <laughs> you got COVID. <laughs> Have you heard this term, gray divorce? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, we had a delightful uh, anniversary, and nice. And I thought food was bland. I'll be back. Uh, I'll be back next week. Where did you go? COVID. Uh, we went to. <laughs> where did we go to? <laughs> we did COVID. Ruby Tuesday. <laughs> mm, Burger King. <laughs> uh, you guys wear crowns, matching crowns. I can't. I, maybe it was Napa. I don't know. Hey, you... <laughs> memorable. <laughs> but then, anniversary. then I went on the Jeep Jamboree, which was awesome. Ah. It destroyed my Jeep. I saw yeah. the pictures in yeah. my in my eyes. My arguably mint Jeep that was set up for off road. I damaged uh, five body panels. That's because you went off roading. Yeah, yeah. That's what happened. Off roading always ends in pretty much. There's yeah. like I don't know if you've ever done it, but like there's some shit out there that can really fuck your car. I've done, yeah. Did I've you done, make a mistake that that happened, or just that's no? A good I, question. So I've I've been on three Jeep Jamborees and numerous other off road things, and 
things that are very technical, they'll have spotters. Okay. And the, so the spotter can see where all your tires all are. Sure. And yeah. it's like a video game, like do this, do oh, that, oh, okay. because that I will not allow you to land on your side and drag the side of your Jeep along a rock. Okay. Well, well this guy as well. So your spotter didn't do terrible. that. And he actually in the middle like as I heard he's like, oh, I don't know what to do. And he and he called another guy, a more experienced guy. He's like, uh, back up. And and he's like, turn. that erased it. He's like, turn your wheel to the right. That's how it works. Yeah. Drive slowly. All right, you're through. And I'm like, that's all. I just had to turn my wheel to the right a little bit, and this wouldn't have happened. And the guy came up to me later. He's like, I'm really sorry that I did that to you. I'm like, motherfucker. Like, like how much damage did that cost? Like that guy's poor spotting. It's gonna be. That's three, out of pocket damage. Three grand, yeah. probably something like Oof. that. But more of like, like I'm the type of guy that when I have something that's perfect and mint, and then well, it gets yeah, fucked course. up, yeah. I'm like, but I don't want this anymore. Yeah, <laughs> I got yeah. a buddy, but yeah. you can't, can't go off roading. Have you I heard of great divorce? I, <laughs> <laughs> I got a buddy who can has I a, interest you in some <laughs> great divorce? He's got an amazing. How many shiny rocks do you have? Speaking of mint and now fucked up. <laughs> I, got a I buddy, guess that'll be the bought uh, title it. name. Great yeah. Bought it. Yeah, that's a good call. Bought a uh, mint FJ Cruiser, and he paid way more than he should have. Right. More than it cost new. Do because, we like the FJ Cruisers? Yeah, yeah. They're we cool. do? We they're do. very I, reliable. Yeah. So he bought one because it had low miles. Like an old one. Well, they, no. they, they only made they them for so long. 07 to 14. Yeah, so they only made them in that. Time. Oh, that's yeah. the FJ, the other one. 40. The, yeah. What do you think of the... Oh, those are Land Cruisers. Land this Cruiser, is the FJ yeah. Cruiser. Yeah. It's its own yeah, kind yeah. of... Yeah, it's all, a little different looking. Yeah. I've never been in one, but I always yeah. thought they were kind of cool. They're very, they're very cool for what they are. And he was like, I want a mint one. Got low miles, mint, one owner. He's like, it's the perfect FJ Cruiser. And paid a mint for it because he knew what he was going after. He, they had a, a huge storm the other day, and a telephone pole fell in the front mm. yard and busted up a panel and the bumper. And he doesn't want it anymore. He literally is like, fuck this, because once they have to respray it. I know the feeling. It's not perfect to him mm. anymore. Even though I'm like, it's still perfect. He's like, no, it's had a claim on it. Yep. They're going to have to respray. And he's like, and I will always look at it and know that was resprayed. And I'm like, that's... So you I, get, I agree completely. I was really. like, you're going to sell it on a song? And he was like, no, I'm going to still try to get. Like, but but it is lesser in my brain. Yeah. It's huh. it's ruined for him. It's just ruined. And it's not. I, I am on your side with this, Brendan, but I can definitely yeah, I see, can the see the other it, side sure. of it, too. Yeah, there's people But like I would that. be like, ah, fuck it. Yeah. Actually, I kind of like when cars get a little bit. Like little character, like yeah. When the, yeah. when the when the shines off of it a little bit, so yeah. it's like because whenever you get a new car, and when you I say like, new, I mean new to you. Like you're like, let me wipe it with a fucking diaper and fucking yeah. you know. Then like it gets a a little scratch in it or something or a ding in the bumper. You're like, now you're like, well, fuck it, I don't need to wash it every week. Well, that's like, why and you're able to put your ducks on your window. That's why uh, I buy no. fifteen year old boats because. It's already faded and it's got scratches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll just fucking pull it up on a beach. Like, yeah, no problem. Yeah, yeah. what you should do. People are spraying suntan lotion, which destroys the gel coat. Yeah. Shine. Destroys it. Yeah. And I'm like, have at it. I don't yeah, give yeah, a yeah. fuck because this boat's 15 years old. But my 20 year old Jeep was mint. I mean, it really was. You guys saw yeah, it. Yeah, no, yeah. It's, it's fucking it, mint. No, now, now it's horrible. I now you fucking wrecked. I won't even go in it. Yeah. Well, now I've got to replace a door, replace a fender, replace fender flares, replace, uh, patch up the uh, tub. Have you thought about setting it on fire? <laughs> mm. Now, once you get all that done, will you sell that and buy a new one then? No. Because, no, so you'll, you'll, you'll hate it. I'll hate it and but I will you'll keep it. stick with it. Yep. Have you ever heard of great, great divorce? divorce. <laughs> yeah, now, it's, it's time to Have separate. you heard of silent divorce? <laughs> yeah. did, you, did you get COVID? Have on you ever the heard Jeep of trip? sticking it out for the kids? Yeah. That's what we're doing with so, this Jeep. So we're on the Jeep trip, yeah. and it's. Is that my, we got COVID, not the anniversary? It's my buddy Mark. Uh, and so my buddy Mark and his wife, and Joy and myself, and my son all went down to an Airbnb on Lake something near Charlotte. And then the dude. It's Norman. No, it's not that one. It's a, it's a, it's near Uwari because that's where the Jeep Jamboree is. Anyway, the dudes got in the Jeep, and my son is in the back of a two-door Jeep, bouncing all around. 
And the second day, he's like, I've got a huge headache when, right when he woke up, which is kind of oh, weird. Oh, so we it's get, a concussion. What, so we... <laughs> So we got him some, around the back of a two door Jeep. Got him some medicine, and we're having the like. My son loves to go off road. He's all into it. The views are great. The technical. he's like, I think I'm good. No, he he's he's in the back seat. It's what you guys do, right together. O- he's right over the axle, rear axle, which is not comfortable, and he's sleeping, like he's mm. leaning against the oh, cooler. Yeah, that's not good. Sleeping, not and I'm good. like. Oh, my son it doesn't enjoy this as much as he used to. <laughs> Didn't think anything of it. And then uh, we come back in the day, like three days later, we come back and my buddy Mark texts R. He's, R. Like, he's like, I have COVID. And we're like, fuck. And, we're, and Lawson's like, I've been, Lawson's been sick for like three days. And I'm like, huh. So we test him. He has COVID. Oh, so man. clearly he got it from school. And then he's in this two door Jeep for three days. And then he passed it to Mark and probably myself, and I got it the day after Mark. And it it uh, wore me down for at least five days. Oof. I could have physically made it to the podcast. No, don't. Go, I, go stay the fuck home. But I would have yeah. been, you would have heard it. No, don't. I don't want to hear it. Well, I, I chose to protect you guys because I value. But I missed, I was very sad that I missed that double. Yeah, well. There were some jokes. I was. We like, were not. Why didn't you say this? No, because I was glad to be on the next week's podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Well, how's that beer? Can you taste it? I forgot what we were doing. Am I going to go first? Yeah, you're going first. This beer sucks. It's a one. A, gr- well, a one? I don't know if I'll go that That's little, an aggressive. Not, I'm not going to finish it. Good. Okay. Let me, have oh. one, let me try one more sip. No descriptors. You're just going oh, like one fuck. and done. That beer's <laughs> awful. <laughs> I think I'll, he means it. I'll go ahead and go okay. next. Um, yeah, this is not good. There's some weird metallic flavor that hits you in the front, the middle, and the back somehow. And it's it, it changes it does. throughout yeah. it. It goes it's from like, nickel to aluminium. It it's it's whatever it is, it's not good. I'm and not then sh- aluminum. Um, I'm not sure if I yeah. dislike Czech Pilsners or if no, the last I've had couple good of Czech Pilsners yeah. awful. Is, you ever had a Pilsner Irico? Mm, yes. Yes, uh, I think the, I have. With the gnome on it. <laughs> No, that's Lachoff. But they they have a Pilsner version too, don't they? Well, I'm saying Pilsner Erico is like yeah. your basic bitch. Right. Check yeah. Pilsner, and I think it's totally it's fine. fine. I like fine. it a lot. This is not that. This is this no, beer's it's, awful. It's bad <laughs> okay. all the way around. I'll Adam, we'll what go, are you going to get? Down to a one. I'll go to a two. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Mm. So I tend to uh, agree more so with with Adam. You're you're being very aggressive. It's awful. That Carhartt shirt's got you all angry. <laughs> and missing the podcast for I'm a few weeks. I'm mad at my angry. Jeep's all fucked up. Because I'm over here tasting it and going, is it a two and a half? Oh, no, it's definitely not two and a half. <laughs> no, but I'm insane. It's in, the, it's in the ballpark of two and a half. Now, So it's an average beer? I, I felt it's I was being below generous average. with the two. No, no, no. I, I haven't finished my fucking statement. All right. Sorry, we're trying to Dave. Going to veto your mm. vote. This beer is like, a, is, is like a two and a half, but I... When I had my very first sip, I saw your face on the first sip. The first sip did this pure ecstasy, weird <laughs> twist. It did a weird twist that I didn't appreciate. It just, it just, it went, it went south quick. Since then, it's mellowed out. Now that I've had fourteen ounces, but as I drink it, my problem is also the metallic that hangs on and moves through. I'm not saying I wouldn't finish this. No, I will finish a two. Oh. And that's what I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it a two. I think it's a step down from an, like a perfect right down the middle beer. I have to grade it just on the other side of that. So two. All right. So if, if we're going to go on a two and a half being an average beer. Yes. This is a below average beer. Unfortunately, I think we're all <laughs> and saying it's not, that. That's not great. And it's, I thought Troy was going to be the dissenting. And I can't say... It's just a half point below that because I, I feel I I think I was being very nice. I feel like two is just too nice, so I'm going one and a half. That's probably this beer fair. is repulsive to me. Yeah, it's there's no redeeming qualities to this beer. So you I went mean, one, yeah, one and a half, one and a half, two and two. No, he was a two and I was uh, a two. Yeah, so that is not a good score. No, it's not two, a good two, two, one and a half, and one six yeah. and a half, six and a half. So it's a one point six two. That sounds right. Yeah. That's very generous. No, that sounds right. Mm. 
It's not repulsive. I don't. It's I don't repulsive. feel the repulsive. I saw your face the first sip. You're and like, first what sips, the fuck is this? But see, I made the same face on all those coffee beers. So mm. first sips are not usually the best. It got worse the more I sipped it. See, mine got better all the yeah, way I to a I, two. A, yeah, at least I could finish this. Really? That's the only reason. But I, I think a one point six is fair. I think yeah, that's about I think right. That's hundred percent fair. I mean, the fact that the brewery took it off their website. That tells you a lot. That's a 1.5 max. Oh, isn't that the truth? All right, so... They fucking gray divorce that beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the Vrabrissa degrees, Czech Pilsner, is multiple degrees below average. Yeah. Oh. I see what you did there. Yeah, I don't think I would... Fe- I don't think I would... Uh, good. I don't think I would go for this. I can't go for that. Nah, that beer tastes like the Jeep Jamboree in COVID. Mm. <laughs> right. Shell shock. Mm-hmm. That that tastes like Dave's last month. Did the uh yeah. did the and women we're talking get it? about the anniversary? Joy got it. Yep. She got what? It? The COVID. Oh. In fact, I think she got it a day before I did. So yeah. yeah. Fun Jeep Jamboree. Yeah. No, the Jeep Jamboree was awesome because it was done on Sunday on Saturday night and I got COVID on Tuesday. Nice. That's super cool. Yeah. And I when's uh, your next one? I think actually I never took a test, so I don't know if I had it. And I did have a trial on Wednesday, and I started feeling bad Tuesday. You gave that dude the death sentence. I fucking showed up <laughs> and won. Nice, <laughs> yeah, Defense you did. Verdict. You won. Feel yeah. like shit. Felt like shit, but I couldn't call the court at eight thirty in the morning and be like. Hey, feel well you did why'd you call your, in monday then that was your michael jordan flu day no the the <laughs> the prior Uh-oh. it was his flu case <laughs> yeah that was he your michael jordan it. game i won <laughs> no we had we had jeep jamboree and then my anniversary was on oh monday. that's right that's right and we did double that and uh and no, no we did double the next week, week. right we had COVID, yeah. and then tuesday i start tuesday night i started feeling bad wednesday i went kicked ass and then came home and slept <laughs> and For then the next four days and then no nah, yeah probably three or four days felt bad through like saturday and then i was just cough like i didn't feel bad but i was just coughing and i didn't want to come when you listen to the podcast did it make you better no, I was pissed off. You guys left out all these anal jokes that were fucking bold. <laughs> I mentioned anal in every episode for you. You did. You did. You gave a valiant. Literally, <laughs> on principle, valiant this effort. son of a bitch comes in and he goes, Dave's not here. I'm going to say anal. <laughs> yeah. I sent him a text. Yeah. He was like, I'm a little worried. I'm like, just make some anal jokes. You'll be fine. <laughs> Killed it. He got it all wrong. He was talking about, I'm so particular. <laughs> And I can't listen to the full episode to know <laughs> if any of those jokes went through because you fucked up the upload. You know, I didn't fuck up the upload. Something happened. Something I can, happened. I can get you a... Bra. I think there's 20 minutes maybe of gold that all the listeners have missed. Definitely not. That I was can the t- end of <laughs> two and a half hours. <laughs> I can get you a raw copy. Ooh, I like it raw. Mm, baby, I like you, raw. That's right. <laughs> I get you raw copy, and if you tell me it's good enough, then we'll can it as a best of. Like we could come back and oh, like the full episode, the, could, the like, yeah. hidden do, tapes. Do we do yeah. a best of? Yeah, we've There's done them twice. Yeah. We've yeah. done them twice. It, it, it's like every very... five years. Jason's put them together. Double J. Well, that one was actually brilliant. The yeah, Williamsburg's teddy bear was a double. Oh, or was a bear? Was best Williamsburg of. bear. That was so awesome. Yeah, we combined that with Mona Lisa's smile, a couple other uh, heavy hitters. That one. Oh, it's pretty good. And something that happens after a gray divorce. Which is? It's when they go in with lasers and they tighten up an old lady's vagina and make it feel like it's young again. Oh, I didn't know that was a It's thing. called Mona Lisa's smile. Uh, <laughs> what is better? I thought you just moved an inch and a half south. <laughs> <laughs> and that made her smile? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how that works at all. No? You go inside and you tighten no, it up. No, I mean, you normally would enter here. <laughs> and if it gets to that point, you just relocate an inch and a half south. Yeah, I, I get that. Also known as one in the pink or one in the stink. No, this, the stink is the, you should know this better than anybody, pink eye. <laughs> Speaking of pink eye, I had a fucking sty a couple weeks ago. That lasted for seven fucking days. My eye was swelled shut for what two. What causes that? 
just being awesome. I mean, is that a pink eye stress usually, right? It's stress. I had had this, like, I'd had a, a week at work that fucked me up. Like, it was bad. And then we had, like, a, a, a multi-million dollar situation that went south out of nowhere and shouldn't have. And like, at the last minute, everything went south, and I was so stressed about it. And it all blew up on a Friday, and then it continued through on the Monday. And my eye was like, oh, yeah? I'll show you. Hmm. And just swelled up. And then so the, I had to wear, like, sunglasses everywhere. It looked like Stevie Wonder. I didn't know that happened through stress. I have ridiculous eyes. I get everything. Hmm. Probably uh, mixed between stress and just genetics. Yeah, no, genetically, I'm yeah. prone to You're every prone to it, yeah. eye situation. Yeah. Boy, howdy, I got it good. It was awesome. It just went away in time for my California trip. I think we saw it like right at the beginning, right? Yeah, I was like, I was like, oh, something, something yeah. hurts. And like, and did you then, guys notice this? So is that like yeah. a, is that like an inflamed eyelash duct or something? Is that what that yeah, is? Yeah, you're basically following it. Like, okay. It's like a zit, but it's more like a inflamed duct and it just swells up and I get them. It's usually your bad. upper eyelid, right? This was lower. It lower? was nice. It was nice. Yeah. So how big did it get? You're saying swollen shut. Does that mean it follows the whole area around it or is it just that one area? Just the eyelid right there just kind of like like swelled up. So like bottom lid, like like a hair follicle. Mm-hmm. Just swelled up, hmm. and then it creates a puffiness all around. It looked like I had a black eye. Hmm. Hmm. It was cool. It was cool. But no, cool, but no though. cool story. Yeah. No. <laughs> you know? So I was eating ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but in a court of yeah, law. Yeah, that's what you just said. In a court of, <laughs> in a court of law, I could be like, mm, I'm filing for great divorce. I've been punched. <laughs> <laughs> it worked out. Very diddy. That's so dumb. That's such a dumb turn. Oh, can we talk about something really quick? Because I just I do want to go back to it. You 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 brought this up a couple weeks ago, and now this information is going to be very old. But I'm super psyched about the Appalachian Trail Run. I brought that up. I don't, I don't remember, remember that either. You, you sent it to it. me. You sent uh, uh, me on a text. Uh, there was a, a woman who how'd just. Oh, how would you see this story? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How would you pronounce that? I said Appalachian. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Because there was a guy we had on. Can you? Oh, that, that was one of my favorite episodes ever, by the way. Yeah. That was... This guy called in and he awesome. is, he's been all over. Like, what, like Italy or somewhere. He's, he's done all these trails all over the world. And he was bringing up the fact that the Appalachian Trail, Appalachian Trail, I don't know how you want to say it, is like probably the, one of the better trails we have here. And there was a woman who recently just did it in like half the time of the best people. She ran this motherfucker in like 40 days. Do you see her routine by day? It was crazy. No, it's insane. Do, is there, does anyone have She'd any up, details on this? Get in a car. No. Drive seven miles. It helps. <laughs> it helps. Get out. Yeah, that was my buddy Josh Williams. He did the Appalachian Trail in Appalachian. Four months exactly. That was which a was good like story. hella fast. That yeah, like that's story. legit. And he was he was one of the more interesting people we've had on yeah. the podcast. Oh, if yeah. you want to get down to like the most interesting people. Yeah, I would find that episode. Yeah, that's it was really one. cool. What do you think we called that? Uh, when you like trail. re-release an episode, that's a good one to really check out there. You liked it? That well, and great. I think the timing's good now because it's kind of back in back in the lexicon. Well, no, I'm sure we just ignored it because it was a feel good story. I'm just saying it's like if you had like a week where there wasn't a like you guys didn't want to do it, re release that one. That was great. Yeah, I enjoyed the shit out yeah. of it. Have you did you just look that up, Troy? Is that what you're doing? I can't I don't don't know how to look it up. Where would I look it up? On our Facebook page or on Libsyn? I'm just saying right, Are this, you looking for the article? You mean the article. She did it in forty days. Yeah. The whole damn trail. So that's like what Georgia to Georgia to Maine. To Maine. It's twenty one hundred miles if I remember it says correctly. That's twenty two hundred miles after that. Way trail. off. Forty days beating the fastest record known. She beat it by thirteen hours. She's thirty one years old. So she really didn't, didn't she crush hates her it. partner. <laughs> she didn't crush it by when you beat it by thirteen hours? That's I mean, crushing I it. I think it's crushing like it. crushing it. Yeah. That's, that's it's pretty badass. Man. Yeah. I would think if you knock an hour off, that's yeah, like that'd be huge. Thirteen hours. The old off. record was forty one days. Day. Forty one days and seven hours. She did it in forty. 
So she ran that shit. Yeah. And she says, like everyone else who does it, there were days were really hard and I just couldn't stop crying. Like I was just, and that's basically it. You're out there alone. On yeah. Top of everything well, especially else. Especially her, because she wasn't stopping. So she's just going full force the whole time. She's yeah, you're not even enjoying yeah, that. You're not doing the fun stuff like he had talked about. Yeah. Where you meet people and then you walk for a little bit. She was somebody. not yeah. sprinting the serial killers. Yeah. She, said, she said she had like hallucinations and stuff out oh, there. Oh, I'm sure. Like from just being so physically exhausted. It says pretty badass. It usually takes people five to seven months. Like yeah. good hikers. Yeah. Good yeah, hikers. Because Josh did it in four months. And he was Which like fast. crazy fast, yeah. Yeah, that was a dude hoofing it. Yeah, a lot of people. Well, first off, a lot of people don't even complete it. They do it for a week to they're two in, months. They're, and they're employed. Like, no, a lot of them take off work and they're just like they can't do it. It's just it's mentally and physically taxing. <laughs> but and Josh would do. They would have zero mild days or whatever they call them, where like it's just a rest day. Yeah. But then he do like some days were like thirty miles. Yeah. You know, like. And that's just crazy. Because, mm-hmm. like, I'll go walk for an hour and walk, like, three miles, and I'll have podcasts in, and I'll be listening to stuff, and I'll be on flat ground. I'll be like, I'm kind of tired of this already. <laughs> like, yeah, the Where me- are the, the hallucinations? Mental, the mental yeah. part has got to yeah. be just really, really hard. Oh, mentally. It's, and physically, it's exhausting. Well, physically, I mean, that, that part makes sense, but you think of that just by yourself day yeah. after day and just... She was doing 300 calories an hour. Yeah, Josh did it by himself, <laughs> and he met a couple people that were doing it, and then he spent a lot of time with them. Yeah. And then they would separate for a while and then catch back up. And Because, I mean, you just can't. I can't imagine yeah. doing it but on your own. I mean, I, mean, I don't remember crazy. the whole episode, but I feel like I remember him saying like something like near the end where he was just so exhausted and so just spent. And there's like some old guy sitting there's there. There's the with best like part of the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, yeah. and you know what he, what did he give him out of the cooler? It was actually a Pepsi. Okay, or no, Pepsi. maybe it was a Coke. Thought, whatever. But it, was it was a soda. It was one yeah. of those. And he was like, this is amazing. And that guy just talked to him and was like, yeah, my son died. Yeah. And this is kind of where I hang out. He yeah. loved the Appalachian. Yeah, because yeah, it helps people. He gave him yeah. the uh, trail magic. Yeah. He was that's one it. of the trail ma- magic guys. Yeah. Yeah. And that's just what he did to pass his time. Yeah. Like a lonely old man who found solace in this. Yeah. And helping others just get through that last, yeah. and last then part. Josh found that to be the most memorable moment of the show. Cause he yeah. said he was at his, his lowest and yep. he was like, I don't know. I can do this anymore. Yeah. So just sitting in that chair with that old the, man. Had the villages been constructed by then? Huh? I think this guy had a different angle. Hmm. <laughs> a different angle. <laughs> he was Looking at the old guy instead of moving to the villages and oh, his dangles, around. his dangles a different way. Mm. So, what do you think this woman did as her uh, celebration when she got out? Slept. Like mental institution. She literally named yeah. two things. One of which was sleep. So, all right, top choice of yeah. family feud was that. Second, <laughs> mental institution. Ate, got ate something she wasn't allowing herself to eat. True. What was that thing? Vagina. Wiener. <laughs> Wiener Jana. Did she, did she drive a Subaru over there? Both. It was ice cream. Okay, oh, two, so close. <laughs> you two are just sacks of shit. But yes, it was ice cream. And I kind of I kind of understand that. I, personally, why couldn't she eat ice cream on the trail? She was burning a gajillion calories a day. Oh, you cramp up. Maybe lactose. Lactose issues. and cold. Then when Not I a good. Some time uh, in the, uh, I think she's just, in the woods. I think she could have handled a fucking... Where do you find ice cream on the way, though? Where do you find anything? People have to drop all your shit off. I mean, you got to, the logistics are She did say she had a she had a pit crew. Yeah, of course she did. People were like all along. I bet she wasn't carrying a pack. No, no, she had to just run. Yeah, if you're if you're trying to set a record, you're not. Oh, she had to be sponsored too, right? Like I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. Sponsored her to like pay for. I don't know. I don't know what granola company has enough money. Brought to you by Vagisil. You get. (laughs) (laughs) What? I don't think so. No. Are you ever running 50 miles a day on the Appalachian Trail and have that not so fresh? <laughs> Summer's Eve! <Yeah. laughs> like a main evening overlooking the sunset from the Appalachian Trail. <laughs> Smells like a cooter! <laughs> Smells like the pallet house. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Only better. A warm <laughs> turtle tank. Yeah, dude. 35 days in, I bet she would have walked in here and said, this stinks. <laughs> it was that bad, dude. I've never been hit in the face. I would have rather eaten her pussy than walked into this <laughs> on day 39. 
<laughs> I haven't smelled it since her tent in yeah. West Virginia. <laughs> it was that fucking bad in here. I bet you my turtle and fish would have been happy to go in there, too. I would have been like, sorry, boys. Here you go. It would have been like, upgrade. Yeah. Man, how sweet. <laughs> yeah, things are looking up. <laughs> At least it doesn't smell in here. <laughs> <laughs> Not like that shit. Stalactites. Yeah, dude. Am I right? Oh, God. Oh, oh yeah. You know, hippies were like, um, you smell. <laughs> <laughs> you could use some patchouli in there. You might want to burn some incense. They should study people that can do things like that. Like, that's crazy, the mental fortitude to, to like, just put one foot in front of the other. She and hates do that. her partner. Or dad, or something. Yep. Herself. Yeah. Oh, she said some of the falls were like brutal. Just always worried about breaking knees, breaking things. Like, yeah. Imagine getting like eighteen hundred miles in, and you just step wrong on a loose rock and shatter your ankle, and it's yep. like that's it. It's you over. you were on pace, and now you're done. Yep. But when you're running, it's all mental at that point. Like go, 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 and then to fall. Yeah. And you have to, that picking yourself up, that moment of picking yourself up has got to be just ungodly. Yeah. You're probably just like, I'll just sit here. Yep. And she had multiple of those. Yeah. Throughout the journey. I'm, I'm, I'm psyched for her. Yeah. It's great. It's great impressive. Story. I guess we should utter her name. Utter. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Still a child looking this up, trying to find her name. And they lived. Tara Dower. There we go. How uh, congratulations! You gotta weave job, that into like every conversation, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Like you're like, uh, hey, what are you guys doing this weekend? I don't know, but it probably is not gonna be like the weekend I set the record for <laughs> finishing <laughs> Appalachian Trail faster than anybody else. <laughs> I killed a deer with my stink. <laughs> <laughs> Only woman to defeat a bear. She got to the end and nobody would come near her. Yeah. I passed three serial rapists. They said, no, thank you. <laughs> Better than the court system. I don't think I want to do it ever again. <laughs> Another restraining order? Fuck. Dude, I get it. Yeah, you get a restraining order. We're all over here praising her. <laughs> Trying to praise her. She's a fucking hero. Better wrap this up before we get arrested. Yeah, yep. mm-hmm. yeah, y'all are fucking canceled. <laughs> Dude, if we yeah, haven't been canceled. Are... The wrong people are listening to this. We never get canceled. Knock yeah. on something <laughs> by the tens and tens of people that are listening. Uh, you got to think there's a curmudgeon in the bunch somewhere. Yeah, but I think in order to get past the first little bit, you're like, eh, I like the cut of their jib. Yeah, I'm a degenerate too. That's why I wait till after the deli to come. Sh- Come shine. <laughs> I've gotten a couple new listeners over the past few months. Have oh, you? Nice. Yeah. Good for you. you. Cincinnati swap them? No, just told them. Oh, nice. And you guys actually have conversations about the episodes? Yeah, the one guy really likes it a lot. The nice. one guy. All right. Give him cool. a shout <laughs> out. <laughs> Josh, thanks for listening. Yeah, Josh. There you go. Send us topics. Yes. Yeah. Please, we're struggling I didn't put that here. out. I should have put that out. Yeah, Josh, if you're looking to send us a topic, do so at insidethepalletehouse at gmail.com. And Josh, if I know anything about Josh's way too much discretionary money, you can find us on Venmo. Troy? Brilliant. At Inside the Pallet House. <laughs> That's the one. He's got one, one time I throw it to him. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, don't mind if I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I he thought just, you could he just wants it. this to be over. I just never remember it. I'm always like, the podcast that starts with ITPH. I'm like, wait, that's not it. If you need a mortgage, you live in Georgia or Virginia, two places on the Appalachian Trail. Mm. Yep, correct. Probably then, the least stinky ones, too, right? The Definitely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The worst ones are the Carolinas and Maine mm. or Vermont. It's got to be bad. But if you live in Georgia or North Carolina, sorry for the bad plug, Screen Door Mortgage, <laughs> head over to Screen Door Georgia Mortgage. Georgia or Virginia. That's what I said. You said Georgia or North Carolina. Oh. The second time. Hmm. Well. One day. Well, when Screen Door Mortgage gets a bunch of applications from North Carolina, count now those towards now. our total. <laughs> if you need a pair of sunglasses because you're running the Appalachian Trail and you don't want to get a sty. <laughs> Head over to Nectar Sunglasses. Drop ITPH in the coupon code. You'll get 20% off what is already the best looking sunglasses in the game. 
for sure. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll be talking to you next week. Cheers. Cheers. What the? <laughs> That's a pretty good podcast, don't you think? Oh, no. Someone peed in my pants. Just really got to be. That's Brendan. <laughs> I'm going to disappoint Josh because I have nothing this week. Objection! Hearsay! (laughs) Can't park that Subaru here.